So in this last section, we're going to be looking at conics. Now, conics are all a result of taking slices of this shape. This shape is known as the hyperboloid. Now, a hyperboloid as a shape, uh, you may recognise as being the shape of a nuclear cooling tower, for example. It's a very strong, rigid structure. Um, and you can see it as being was where conics come from uh, by thinking of taking slices of this three-dimensional shape at different angles. So, for example, if you cut it right down the middle, then what you'll find is that you cut a perfect circle, okay? So if you cut it at any point, you will get a circle. If you cut it slightly at an angle, okay, what you get is an ellipse. So we have a circle, and at a slight angle, you'll get an ellipse. If you take this a little bit further, so you get up to this stage, okay, then what you find, oh, that wasn't drawn very well, let's try that again. What you find is that you get a parabola. Okay, so circle, ellipse, and then you get a parabola, and then when you've got a nice straight line uh, working all the way downwards, you can see that it cuts the hyperboloid in two places. So you get go the right way. You get actually a hyperbola. Probably cuts that way. Okay. So, depending on which way you cut uh, the hyperboloid, you get slightly different shapes. And they're all coming from this three-dimensional shape known as the hyperboloid. Now, the circles, the equation of a circle, um, that is stuff that we look at in core one. So, as part of FP1, we look at ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas, okay? And that's what we're going to be considering in the next few videos.